Okay, I have a nice long to-do list today. Today is June 1st, and uh, what I wanna do is mow, of course, clean everything up, and then I do have some product to throw in the lawn, and when I get to that point, I'm gonna go ahead and talk about that. So with that, we'll go ahead and start mowing, and check out this sticker collection. This thing is, this is growing nicely. I'm um, starting to fill up the top half of the freezer out here. If you have a sticker, feel free to reach out to me. Uh, I think the easiest way to get a hold of me is on Instagram or Twitter. Just send me a direct message and I'd love to uh, swap stickers with you if you have a sticker. So yeah, really happy with how this is turning out. It's been really fun to get in touch with every one of you that have sent me one so far and I look forward to continuing to add to this. So with that, let's get started. All right, I'm all finished mowing and I had a little bit of fun in the backyard. Took a little inspiration from the lawn tools and did some chevron patterns in the backyard. Uh, I think it came out really nice. Uh, now I wanna move on and start uh, spreading some fertilizer and um, I'm also gonna uh, put out a couple of other things too. And I realized that I'm a little early for my fertilizer application um, I think it's been uh, maybe three weeks since my last application, but we have a baby coming any day and I want to get as much done as I can so that when the baby comes, that's one less thing that I have to worry about. So I'm going to be applying an organic fertilizer today. It's a new product that I have not used before, new to me anyways. Um, so I'll talk about that. I'll show you what it is. I'm also going to get a fungicide down and I'm going to get sulfur down and I'll talk about why we're doing that as well. Okay, first thing that's going down today is my fertilizer, and this is uh, Job's Organics Lawn Food. This is an alternative to Ringer Lawn Restore. It's a 1002 analysis, and another thing that I really like about this so far is price. This is significantly cheaper than Ringer Lawn Restore. And in fact, I got all three of these bags to cover my entire yard for less than one bag of Ringer Laundry Store. And I need two bags of Ringer Laundry Store to cover my whole yard. So that's a plus. I'm excited to try it out. I'm excited to see how it goes and the results that I get from it. Moving on, next product I'm gonna put down is Disease X from Scott's. This is a fungicide. For me, I'm using it primarily as a preventative. So it's gonna go down in a really light dose and it's gonna help prevent brown patch and as it says on the bag, other common lawn diseases. Finally, this is sulfur. This is the first time that I've ever put sulfur down on my yard. 
Uh, this is a 50 pound bag. We're gonna be looking around four to five pounds per 1,000 square feet. And I'm gonna apply this over the whole yard. And so back to my soil test results here. You'll notice my pH is out of the target range that's recommended here from Soil Savvy. And one of the best ways to control the pH is by applying sulfur. And we're talking an elemental sulfur product here. And I'm gonna apply this, as I said, at four to five pounds per 1,000 square feet. That's what I'm gonna be shooting for. And my hope is that as I continue to apply this over time, we're talking maybe one to two, maybe three, three's probably pushing it, applications per year. I'm shooting for two this year. Two applications of this sulfur, I'm hoping to bring this pH down. And by bringing this pH down, it's gonna free up a lot of the other things down over on this side of the graph. So a lot of people have been asking me if I ever like measure out my product before I put it in the spreader. And the answer is no, I've never done that before. Um, I know how much the bag weighs and I put the bag in and I know how much one bag covers and I know how big my yard is. And so I go ahead and just make sure that the whole bag covers that section of the yard. But today I'm, I thought I'd try it out. I've got a scale set up here and I've got a bucket over there that I'm gonna put the product into and weigh it out before I put it into my spreader. So we're gonna start with the Job's and go from there. This is gonna be three pounds per 1,000 square feet for this product. The front yard is 2,000 square feet. So I'm gonna measure out six pounds of this, put it in the spreader, and then by the time I'm done going over my entire front yard, I should have emptied out the spreader. I do like using um, the scale because then I have an idea of really how much further that that amount of fertilizer needs to go for a certain uh, area in the yard. So I found that really helpful and I really enjoyed that. I'll probably do that in the future. Um, I am gonna get probably a better scale, something that's a little smaller. Um, this bathroom scale um, was a little tedious to work with. So for future, I'm probably gonna use a different kind of scale. As far as the Job's product goes, that was my first time ever using it. And my very first impression of using it was it's a lot like Ringer Lawn Restore. It looks the same, it smells near exactly the same, and even the pearl size was very similar as well. So as far as an alternative goes, the look, the smell is dang near the same thing. The one complaint I have about it is it's very dusty. When you're moving your spreader along, it's a little breezy out here today, but when you're making your pass with your spreader and, and that fertilizer's coming out, it is very dusty. And it was getting in my face and I was breathing it and I didn't really care for that part of it. But as far as results go, we'll see. We'll keep an eye on everything out here and see how it goes. and. Um, I'm really hoping uh, that I get some nice results with this. Good growth I'm expecting. I'm not expecting really much of a color change. Uh, it does have 10% nitrogen in there, but there is no iron in this product, so I'm really not expecting much of a color change. But other than that, so far, so good. Uh, it really just comes down to the results, so time will tell on that one. Okay, there it is, side by side. And as you can see, they're very, very similar. Job's is a teeny tiny bit thicker as far as pearl size goes. 
And every once in a while you get these cylindrical shaped ones that are a little bit bigger. Um, didn't really see them as a problem as far as uh, spreading. And then the ringer here is just a little bit finer. Um, but you can see that it really just breaks down really easy. And I think that's where the dustiness comes from from both of these. Um, they, they really just kind of crumble. But as you can see, very, very similar products. Um, they look the same, they smell the same, and my guess is the results are probably going to be the same. Uh, now, you do get more potassium out of Ringer. It's a 1006 compared to a 1002, but as far as growth is concerned, I, I'm guessing that the results are probably going to be very similar. So as I'm editing this footage, one thing I wanted to point out was I didn't calculate the pounds of nitrogen that I'm actually putting down into the soil um, as I was doing it. I was just following the application rate on the bag. And now that I'm into editing and I'm going through all of this again in my mind, I decided to, to get out a piece of paper, calculate the math, and figure it out. On the bag, they recommend three pounds per 1,000 square feet. And at 10% nitrogen, we're getting a third pound of nitrogen in our application. And that's really not much compared to what I'm used to putting down with other products like Ringer and Melorganite. So in order to get even just over a half pound of nitrogen, you're wanting to do a double application right now. So I would have to put down six pounds per 1,000 and go from there. So that would double the cost for the product, which would then equal about the same as Ringer Laundry Store. So. Just wanted to put that in there. I know I've been saying that this is cheaper and it is unless you want to get more nitrogen out of it. Then you're going to then you're going to be paying for twice as much product. So just wanted to put that in there. Hope that's helpful. Let's get back to it. Okay, the next thing I'm going to put down is the Scott's product here. And just keep in mind this is purely a preventative for me. I don't see any any kind of diseases in the lawn or any kind of funguses right now. Um, the only thing that I'm really seeing is mushrooms, and that's just because we've gotten a sick amount of rain this, this year so far. In fact, they've said that it's near record-setting uh, rainfall in the entire history of the state of Utah. So uh, mushrooms are expected. I'm not seeing anything else yet, but I think now is as good a time as ever to get this down just in case and use it as a preventative. Okay, last but not least is the sulfur application. Uh, this I just picked up from a local nursery. Uh, for those of you watching who live in Utah, I got this from J&J &J Garden Center. Um, this is a 90% sulfur product. It's a 50 pound bag. We're going for four to five pounds per thousand, so I want this bag to last my whole yard. That's going to go ahead and wrap this up. Lots of product thrown in the lawn today. Lots of material going to be going down into that soil. And a lot of it, all of it, is exactly what the soil needs right now. And we should get some good results from, from those products. The sulfur was actually really nice. I think the spreader setting that I used was very conservative. I could have dialed it up a little bit more. Um, but being the first time that I ever used it, I wanted to make sure that I didn't screw it up. So next time I'll probably dial up the spreader setting a little bit more. Uh, the nice thing about that sulfur is that entire 50 pound bag cost me only $15, $16. And if I can find a product cheap like that, that's way awesome. So probably gonna put another application of that down later in the season and I think two applications a year is probably sufficient. 
um, for my program right now. So I'm gonna water this in. It looks like there's another storm coming, so I might get some help from the rains too. But I'm gonna water everything in and should see um, some growth in the next few days or so. So with that, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.